Hi guys, I hope that you're very well. It's Silvana here and I am back for a new video on the Jewish and Gems YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we will be talking about again Pisces season but as we have already touched on what is the meaning behind Pisces season, what to expect during this new zodiac season. I invite you to check out that previous video. We've also done a beautiful uh, pick a card tower reading all about Pisces season for you to uh, to go and check that out. That's again another video. Today the topic is going to be obviously zodiac stones. So we'll be touching on all the beautiful zodiac stones associated with Pisces so that you can make uh, the most of um, those beautiful crystals energy should you have uh, Pisces energy in your birth chart. So that means that applies to everybody, regardless of if uh, your sun sign is in Pisces, but also if you have your moon in Pisces, your rising in Pisces, or if you just happen to have a lot of Pisces energy in your birth chart, this video works for you as well. So let's get in. Uh, this video will be talking about the most popular crystal for Pisces, I'll be talking briefly about what they mean, what they're associated with, uh, why would you consider getting yourself uh, those beautiful crystals, and maybe a few other more uh, tips and, and, you know, other juicy bit of information you might want to know. So let's get started with the one and only the obvious. I mean, I don't want to go too deep about this one now because we will be talking about it very soon and there'll be a video completely dedicated to it because there's just so much to say about it and this is yes indeed aquamarine so the first one is obviously going to be aquamarine it's a great 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 crystal for pisces for that beautiful pisces energy so here is a beautiful rough um piece i have here from beautiful brazil so Aquamarine is one of those that is going to be very much so about that calming, soothing, cleansing energy. You know, it's that crystal that reminds you to just go with the flow because you have to become like water yourself. You know, if if obstacles come your way, if there is that rock that's coming your way, you just become like water. Go around it. Everything is fine. Everything is cool. It's coming my way. That's okay. I'm just going to go around it, you know, deviate, you know take a different direction and then come back and everything will be fine. That's kind of the message here behind uh, behind aquamarine, really. So it's that, you know, um, that ability as well to communicate and talk and exchange with other people in a beautiful, clear, easy and gentle uh, in way, really. And um, without anger, judgment, fear, anything like that. It's really about letting your emotions flow in a beautiful, gentle uh, way, you know, and letting that negativity float away as well. So aquamarine, it was kind of obvious. We had to, we had to start with aquamarine. For me, it wouldn't have worked otherwise. Number two, guys. So let's just touch on ah, this one here. Now, some of you might be thrown away by the looks. They'd be like, oh, is that uh, selenite? Well, no, actually, this one here, it might look like selenite, but this is not selenite, guys. If you can't tell what this is now, this is a form of kunzite. So yes, indeed, today we have also to talk about kunzite. So here we have pink kunzite, which is uh, the one that's the most popular, especially in jewelry, you'll find a lot of pink kunzite is absolutely beautiful. It's an unusual stone because it's not pink, it's not purple, it's not lavender, it's not lilac. It's kind of a blend of all those shades and colors. And this is uh, also um, a beautiful piece of kunzite spodium from uh, Afghanistan that I have here. But this one is, uh, is just white kunzite. Kunzite, another great crystal for Pisces. You know, we haven't touched a lot on Pisces. We've talked about it because it's also associated with love. So you can find it in, in that uh, previous video about crystals for love. But I would say 
it works very well for Pisces energy because Pisces energy is very much so associated with that idea of emotions. It's a sign that relies a lot on their emotions and their emotions is something that's very important to them. So Kunzite is the stone of emotions, funny enough. So you can see the connection here, opening, connecting the heart and the mind. That's really what, uh, that's really what Kunzite is all about. And uh, yeah, a stone of romantic love, which is very much so what Pisces is about. Uh, good for communication of love uh, when you're a little bit nervous. Uh, also as well for, I suppose, a healing heartaches, if this is something you feel might resonate with you. But yeah, apart from that, great for clearing away negative energy from a room, from an environment, from someone's aura. Uh, yeah, just great, great that way to strength, strengthen the, the auric energetic field. Uh, very much so a stone that's about embracing your sensitivity and making it a strength rather than a weakness. And I think that this is exactly what our friends, uh, our Pisces friends need. You know, that's why uh, something like Kunzite resonates so well with, um, you know, with their energy. You know, definitely. See here, it's very unusual. It almost looks like selenite, but it's actually it's actually not. As you can see here, pink, beautiful pink. Kunzite, I love Kunzite so much. For me, it's one of those, I, but I am convinced that for me, Kunzite is one of the best, most like powerful crystals for, for love energy in general. It's just brilliant for that. Now, next, I'm going to show you in jewelry form uh, because it's easier. Uh, it's this piece here. Now, this, guys, if you cannot tell, this is what, the, what we would call charoite. So, charoite, um, it's a beautiful mineral. It's a gemstone that you can find more so in uh, Siberia, Russia. We won't Go too deep about it because there'll be a video dedicated just to charite uh, so uh, but in a few words it's very much so about uh, overcoming and releasing fears and negativity uh, and allow it allows you really to uh, to um, those those fears that are really deeply rooted with inside of you it really allows you to um, to uh, to be comfortable with them and to understand them, recognize them, and learn to deal with them and, and heal from them. So for me, that's kind of what this, this crystal represents, Chowrite. It's very much so about letting go that negative energy that's within you, rather than being too scared to face it, and instead just letting it be, which unfortunately is not great either, because that's, that kind of defies the purpose of healing. So uh, very much so, again, uh, an emotion, an emotional healing crystal that really works again very well for our dear Pisces friends. You can see here how there's a lot of those that kind of they kind of fit in together very well. They make a lot of sense together, but they also make a lot of sense with Pisces. So it's very interesting to to see how this works and how they all um, how they all. Um, coexist with with uh, with Pisces energy next uh, yeah let's talk about our dear uh, friend the, uh, the beautiful fluorite fluorite is wonderful for the beautiful Pisces energy uh, now of course I'm so sorry that camera doesn't do it justice but uh, it's actually a much brighter color it's just hard to tell with this camera here, but from my side, because the sun is stone, uh, the sun is literally going through it. From my side, it looks bright green. You know, you can see it's it's really nice. It lets the the light go through it. I'll show you another, another one here. This is a beautiful fluorite point. Fluorite is great for the mind. It's the stone of the mind. It's the stone of focus. It's the stone of concentration. It's here to remind you of the importance of harmony. And balance and it neutralizes negative energy uh, it's great for any types of blockage you might have that you want to uh, to get rid of and uh, great for decision making 
for making moves. Uh, it's great for, yeah, as we said, balance uh, in all areas of life. Now here we see we have a different type here. This one is more of a rainbow fluorite with blue and purple. But yeah, that's just to show you uh, different types. But yeah, great for concentration, self-confidence, grounding. Uh, yeah, har harmony in general, be it physical, mental, spiritual, all those areas. You know, so definitely you can see how something as well, again, makes sense for Pisces, you know, because it really allows them to gain that clarity rather than being overwhelmed in, in mental clutter because of because of your emotions. You know, Pisces, my, my Pisces friends, I'm just saying, you know, you, if you disagree with me, you can tell me. But Pisces tend to usually be very much so in their mind, in their head, and they think a lot, they've got a lot on their mind. And sometimes they even let their emotions take control and take over. And something like fluoride really is here to, to remind us of the importance really of having a clear mind. Because if you have a, 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 a mind that's completely clear, if you're very clear, then you, you can trust your intuition in, in, in a way that you will know it will be right, it will be accurate. And you'll trust yourself and you'll know you'll be doing the right thing and you'll take the right decision, you know, rather than being um, led by fear, or by negative emotions, by, uh, by stress, by anything like that, you know. Uh, um, sometimes the most simple things are the best. A clear mind, you know, you can't beat that. Next... Let's talk about the beautiful, I'm sure you know what this is, guys. This is the beautiful blue kyanite. Kyanite here, you can see I have a beautiful piece here from uh, Brazil. And uh, kyanite is one of those wonderful for, uh, for Pisces. Uh, it works for also other, other signs. Uh, we'll touch on that next time. It's great for other uh, other signs, but definitely works very well for Pisces. Again, it's a very high vibrational crystal. The wonderful thing about kyanite, if there's one thing I want you to, to remember out of this video, is that kyanite is probably one of a handful crystals that I can think and count on my hand that do not need to be cleansed and recharged. Like this crystal, like it's literally such a high vibration it has you do not need to cleanse kyanite it's just there's no there's no need it just does not need like it's it's great for so many things it's good for clarity truth trust um communication so if you're someone for example if you're pisces for example that needs to be in contact with the public you know definitely try some uh kyanite uh, it's great to, you know, cutting through fears, as we said, blockages, you know, that's why Pisces would, will love this one. Uh, great for forgiveness, compassion. Uh, it's great tool for empaths. If I was to give one crystal that I think is great for any empaths, is definitely something like kyanite you have to get your hands on. Absolutely. Great for loyalty, fair treatment of other people. Um, you know, dealing dealing with confrontation um, is great with, with kyanite because it really allows you to, uh, it's going to assist you in, in those moments where you might not agree with someone or there might be a bit of friction and really, you know, aid in, in, in repairing, you know, whatever needs to be, to be repaired uh, or, or, or calmed down or, or to temp, you know, any type of... Um, you know, like tricky difficulties like that, mental um, blockages. Uh, now let's go for another obvious choice, you know, like, I mean, you know, like Larimar. Larimar is great for our beautiful Pisces friends. Like this one, this stone for me, again, represents exactly what Pisces need to focus more on which is obviously going to be serenity, guys. Calm down a little bit. Let those emotions go. Let all that stress go. You stress too much. You know, you let your emotions take too much control. Just trust yourself. 
trust your inner power trust your inner wisdom everything will be fine it's also great to cool tempers you know which is obviously going to be our leo friends but we'll talk about that on another video but for today just as about we're talking about pisces it kind of fits in very well because also pisces is very much so a sign that connects a lot to spirituality uh you know uh, the higher the higher minds the higher realms so something like larima also happens to have a beautiful energy associated with contacting angels uh, the divine feminine all those areas where usually pisces tend to have a nice affinity with and uh, yeah just great for um you know stillness calmness uh all sorts of other things but we'll keep it to that today because there will be a video dedicated just for uh the beautiful larimar so next one is now i think we've done we've done the most important ones that i really wanted to touch on with you guys but for those that have uh, that are still with me now i'm going to give you some little bonuses because you're so kind to keep watching my video so for you guys i'm going to give you some bonuses so first one i'm going to give you four bonuses so be ready these are extra ones so here we've got the beautiful blue lace agate we've talked about it before check out our video that's dedicated to it but blue lace agate is beautiful for our our pisces friends very much so again about that calming healing soothing energy uh, if you tend for example to have difficulties with letting your emotions take over take control and um making your life sometimes a bit difficult uh definitely go for some beautiful blue lace agate great stone for just gentle calm and smooth and beautiful communication with people around you uh if you're so if you're pisces for example that has difficulties to be heard by other people that difficulty to be heard by others or if you need co like confidence or, or or to help with articulating how you feel uh definitely try the beautiful blue lace agate for me it's one one of those that i am convinced people need more of in their life it's so underrated yet it's just so amazing this one here is a beautiful piece i have from south africa uh you can find it as well in other areas but definitely get your hands on this beautiful angelic protective and guiding uh, energy that blue lace agate has next bonus so i think we can touch on is going to be turquoise i like turquoise as well for pisces uh because again it's gonna be like very protective energy it's very pure energy uh, it it's really symbolizes strength but also it's like a like a, an inner gentle strength it's like strength but like it's not going to be like as as potent as you know as pyrite or, or, or carnelian you or fire opal you'd see what i mean here we're dealing with a more gentle type of strength that kind of suits pisces energy very well in my opinion so obviously that's going to be also great just for um you know in inner serenity again uh great for tranquility uh great for meditation you know great for creativity empathy positive thinking it does a lot but we'll talk about it more deeply in another video for sure um then uh, we're almost done next is gonna be uh i think we're gonna go for this one here so this one here i have some just to show you because it comes in slightly different tones you can see they look very different yet uh this is new jade so new jade is great as well for our beautiful uh oh, sorry for our beautiful uh pisces friends because it really has that energy that's kind of like related to good luck uh good fortune uh, which is also nice because none of the crystals we've talked about before actually are associated with that but it's also great just for like um, 
uh, soothing the the emotional body with that which at the end of the day is kind of what Pisces really needs releasing any fears of change uh, opening on the positive perspective on life in general great for you know to connect you to uh, the the heart uh, and the mind of nature and very much so associated with bl clearing energy blockages uh, chakra blockages uh, great for kundalini uh, ac activation so if it's something that you're into that you practice definitely try some uh, new jade also called serpentine these two are the same thing so yeah abundance prosperity uh, success wisdom uh, new beginnings it kind of ticks in all those boxes so a great another great choice for pisces and last but not least i really wanted to keep this one last because for me it's it holds a special place in my heart and i think that uh, this is what uh, my dear pisces friends should really look into it's this beautiful stone here i'll just show it to you quickly this one here is a beautiful peruvian pink opal for me pink opal is so beautiful for pisces it's like that beautiful powerful heart chakra divine energy about encouraging you to release fears um you know like to in, it really instills compassion and emotional balance and harmony and it's great against stress anxiety uh great for hope uh, peace, love in all area of your life and all areas of your aura and your energetic field and uh, it's great for new hope and for me I really love it as well for healing emotional wounds and healing emotional trauma so definitely uh, for hope and emotional healing in general guys uh, all my Pisces friends out there please give this one a try Pink opal is just so wonderful. This one is uh, Peruvian. You'll also find some uh, on the website, some beautiful, um, if you're interested, yes, uh, some beautiful Peruvian pink opal. So yeah, that would be it guys for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comment section below guys, which one among those would you pick? whether you have pisces energy or not i'd love to hear uh is there any particular one that resonates with you uh, i'd love to know what you guys would like to see or hear next so don't be uh, don't be shy and let me know in the comment section below what do you guys feel like seeing on this channel and uh, make sure as well that you subscribe to our jules and gems vip club the link will be in the description box we have two freebies for you guys uh, my uh, spiritual self-care guide as well as my astrology cheat sheet you can find them both they're free uh, and i also just released an ebook on amazon it's a completely free ebook that you can download and uh, as well on on amazon and let me know what you guys think about all those i'd love to hear from you thank you so much for watching guys and i'll be talking to you soon see ya